This short video summarises temporal and spatial shifts in blood lead exposure of Broken Hill children between 1991 and 2015. Broken Hill City in far west New South Wales, Australia, hosts one of the largest lead, zinc, silver ore deposits in the world. The locals call it the line of load. Mining started in the mid-1880s and the first reports of occupational and community lead poisoning date back to 1893. Over the last 25 years or so, local government agencies and mining companies have undertaken various intervention and remediation actions to reduce lead exposure risks for children. Remediation efforts have included capping waste, emissions reduction actions at the operating mines and partial cleanup around the city. Even though ore extraction is now completed underground, the city is overshadowed by the large slag heap that sits on top of the line of load where the former ore outcropped. This area is still releasing lead-rich dust. Since 1991, the local health authorities have completed more than 24,000 blood lead tests on children under five years of age. These data, along with matched information on gender, age, date of test, address, and aboriginality were used in our study. In addition to the blood lead samples, we were able to access other information to better understand potential sources in the city. The available environmental lead data included over 10,000 soil samples from nearly 2,000 Broken Hill residences, plus indoor and ceiling dust from 186 households. The following images show average soil lead values in individual household gardens based upon data collected since 1994. The results are clear. As expected, there is an increase in soil lead concentrations close to the line of load, where mining operations have been ongoing since the 1880s. It is only a distance of approximately three kilometres from the line of load that soil lead concentrations are more frequently below the Australian guideline of 300 milligrams per kilogram for residential garden soil. The following graphs show the only recent publicly available lead in air data extending back to 2012. The data, which were collected by the Perillia Mining Company from a site close to the centre of town, show that lead in air concentrations are falling over time and are below the national maximum average value of 0.5 micrograms per cubic metre. However, air lead concentrations remain significantly elevated compared to other major Australian cities that do not have significant lead processing activities. For example, lead in air at Broken Hill is approximately 200 times that in Sydney, Australia's largest city. This sequence of images show the temporal shifts in children's blood lead over the 25-year study period. Between 1991 and 2015, the geometric mean blood lead has fallen from 17 to 5 micrograms per deciliter. Children's blood lead levels continue to fall in Broken Hill, with the latest data from 2018 showing geometric mean blood lead levels were 4.7 micrograms per deciliter. The following slides show the spatial distribution of children who have presented with the blood lead above and below 10 micrograms per deciliter over the 25-year study period. The blood lead level of 10 micrograms per deciliter is used because from 1993 to 2015 this was the Australian intervention value. Children living in South Broken Hill and those close to the northern side of the line of load have presented consistently with an elevated blood lead level over time. Although overall exposure have fallen, the data shows that residential homes across the entire city present a blood lead risk for children. In terms of dealing with the ongoing blood lead exposures, it is clear two things need to happen. Emissions from contemporary and legacy sources must be significantly reduced and eliminated where possible. All homes, childcare and school facilities should be remediated for lead contamination. Despite the improvements in blood lead levels since 1991, about half of the Broken Hill children under five years of age have a blood lead level above the new Australian intervention guideline of five micrograms per deciliter. About three quarters of Aboriginal children under five years of age exceed this new intervention value. Mean blood lead levels in Australian and North American children are now around one microgram per deciliter, approximately five times lower than those in Broken Hill.